So you have this simple, very powerful energy inside of you, very powerful feeling. There's no way that you can express that without proper mechanism. That energy just gets inside of you, you just like spit it out. The person's gonna be like, whoa, get away. You know, like they're not going, it's not going to be received well. This interaction that God is having with humanity, with our world, can actually be compared to the interaction between two individuals, right? We're going to use this as a comparison. I think this will actually bring even more clarity to this interaction, all right? So let's say an individual has a feeling. A person has a feeling, right? And this feeling is a simple, lofty, non-quantifiable feeling, right? Perhaps the person feels inside of themselves tremendous love. They have, they have this feeling that they're full of love for someone else, okay? Now, when you're full of that feeling, you're full of this tremendous love, the only way that you can express your innermost feeling, right? The feeling, you can't touch the feeling. You can't hold the feeling. The feeling isn't consisting of many parts. It's one simple, special, lofty, ethereal feeling that you have inside. You, can't, you don't say like, oh, I'm going to give half my love to you and half my love. You can't break it up. It's one single unified entity. And so this unified entity, this spiritual feeling, for lack of a better term, right? the only way that you can express these innermost feelings that you have to another person is through the use of your limbs, through the use of your mouth, through, or through other mechanisms. Right? A person expresses their love for another person by embracing them right, with a hug or with a kiss, by speaking words of endearment, perhaps presenting a gift. These are ways in which a person conveys that simple, unified, ethereal love that you have inside. There's no other way to communicate it. You could feel it as much as you want, and you have these powerful feelings of love, but unless you communicate it, no one else is going to know about it. Lest you tell that person, lest you show that person, the other person appreciates the gesture of a hug. Why? Because it shows that you care. If you think about it, it doesn't even make sense, right? I feel loved. Why? I feel now the feeling that you're feeling. Why? Because you put your arms around me. It doesn't even make any sense. You put your lips on my cheek. Now I feel... But, but, but... At the end of the day, that mechanism accurately conveys the message that you wanted to convey. If someone gives you a half hug or a backhanded kiss, like, mm, 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 you know, it's like your, your feelings are also being conveyed very clearly. So it's not about the action per se, but the feeling itself is only conveyed through external mechanisms. So you have this simple, very powerful energy inside of you, very powerful feeling, and you want to give it over, you want to express it. There's no way that you can express that without proper mechanisms. And if you don't know, if you don't know the proper mechanism, the other person's not going to know how to relate to it. If you're just like, Aah! right? If you're just like, you just, you know, you're that, that energy just gets inside of you, you just like spit it out, the person's going to be like, Whoa, get away. You know, like they're not going, it's not going to be received well. And so it works in a similar way with, with infinite divine energy, God conveying God's self to creation. If God exposed God's self in his ultimate sense, we would just explode. We, we, don't, have, we don't have the capacity. We don't have, we're not vessels. We're not receptacles that can process that complete revelation. If you just describe your feelings in ways that are mechanisms that are not palatable or not understandable by another person, they're not going to understand. They're not going to appreciate what you're trying to say. You just like, ugh, ugh, you know, like, and just let the love come out in, in some, you know, crazy way. It's not going to be processed properly. And so it has to be done with mechanisms and a whole system of ways in which you process that divine uh, uh, incorporeal feeling that you have 
when you want to transfer it to another. So this is, this is the idea of angels. Angels are part of that mechanism. They are the mechanism that the incorporeal feeling, the, the love is expressed, right? When, and when talking about God, it's, it's the same way, right? It's through the mechanism of the angels, right, in the gradations of the spiritual worlds, which convey that which God wants to bestow upon the world.